the strange 4.8 magnitude earthquake that cracked France a few days ago, they think they found the cause. It was a 4.8 in the southern of France, above just north of Marseille. Marseille is on the Mediterranean coast, as we know. 4.8 magnitude earthquake struck southeast France November 11. It damaged buildings and injured people, uh, four people, and also caused some evacuations from the area. The small town of Les Tilles suffered the worst damage. Hundreds of structures were cracked and crumbling, such as uh, those that were older, old, the old types of uh, buildings that were made from basically stone, bricks, and mud hundreds of years ago. And uh, USGS, of course, had information on that. 77 people reported feeling it to USGS. And we know that it has to do with the tectonic summary of the subduction zone of the Mediterranean region. But uh, what caused it? That's the thing, because it, it was a it was not it was a very shallow earthquake, shallow trembler. It rattled the whole country basically, and uh, the scientists were wondering what caused this very shallow thing. Now, um, the fears of explosions at the nearby nuclear energy plant also uh, caused havoc, but uh, they found that there was no danger towards uh, the nuclear plant. It was a 4.8 magnitude, damaging various buildings. It left scientists buzzing over the curious feature uh, because France is no stranger to tremblers, to earthquakes. They're often quite small, though. This is what was explained by seismologist Jean-Paul Ampuero of University Côte d'Azur. He said that the event was only of moderate intensity by global measures, but it was very large for French standards. Okay, but it, we remember that we had a 4.9 in the northern area of France in June. And uh, I'm telling you that so you, you know that it's not that uncommon, unfortunately, lately. And we realize that that was a fault that sort of turns into England, uh, from uh, France into England towards the north. And we know that England even has volcanoes, has a lot of spring baths, a lot of spas. Of course, to have spas, you would have them over magma chambers because they're hot spring baths. They're hot spas. Um, but here in, in France, concerning this earthquake, it was clean cut to the surface, they said. It cracked the Earth's crust like an eggshell. And uh, these kind of breaks are common for hefty earthquakes, such as 7.2 magnitude earthquakes, and not this one here, 4.8. So this is more reminiscent of the California Landers earthquake of 7.2 that struck in 1992. The formation of surface fracture along, fracture along this French uh, Latille Trembler earthquake left uh, researchers scratching their heads. They wanted to find out what caused this very shallow, very strange earthquake that cracked the surface. And they studied the region's, region's past and the geodynamics, hoping to find clues what caused this event, what sparked it, and uh, why it happened so unexpectedly, and what it can reveal about the mechanics of that area. So when the earthquake is surprising, Umperio said, it's a big opportunity to learn something new. So. Um, we know that earthquakes worldwide come from slow motion of tectonics, the tectonic plates of the uh, planet. The crust and the upper mantles continue jostling for position, building up stresses, and eventually, of course, giving in the ground breaks and sending out ripples of waves causing earthquakes that we feel. But France's tectonics are complicated. The country sits on top of the Eurasian tectonic plate it abuts the African plate to the south. The African plate is uh, coming into closing into the Eurasian, the Asian plate, the European plate, closing in the Mediterranean Sea, making it smaller. But the boundary between the, these two is very complex and including small numbers of plate faults and fragments 
these microplates are uh, complex and the movements of these microplates along the earth colliding squishing France from multiple directions. The geophysicist Lucille Bruhat from Ecole Normale Supérieure in Paris said, we don't have a large, nice, defined strike-slip fault like, for example, in San Andreas. While large earthquakes are possible here, the mega quakes, like those in California, are very rare. So what they were concerned about is, again, going back, this crack was what you find in big quakes, not this 4.8. So the moderate ruptures like this in any location don't fracture the surface like this had. Uh, the geodesist of the Institut de Physique du Globe in Paris, Raphael Grandin, said he did not expect to see any features over on the ground like this, this crack. And he goes to say, but because it's France, we have to study it. It's our country. And Gradin and others began pouring over the uh, rad radar da uh, data from the satellites and uh, finding it, trying to find out what the minute movements of the ground surfaces were or away from the uh, orbiting spacecraft. And it produced rainbow-colored maps portraying buckling in the landscape and what caused the event. And they were surprised. There was a clear signal emerging, revealing signs of not only land deformation, but also a surface crack, a, rupt a rupture. So the reason, they say, is uh, this quake's striking shallow depth. Most larger earthquakes are way below the surface, radiating from a break in the plate that could be three to six miles down. But this was not a plate, this was on the surface. And the analysis began uh, concerning the earthquake unzipping and uh, perhaps a crust starting a mere mile or so underground. The crust, the crack. Amperio said it's very, very shallow earthquake, even for global standards. Near the surface, the weight of the rock is lower, which means that the stresses are lower and earthquakes are usually weaker. So why did the crack happen so far up, up on, the, on the surface? Faults also behave differently in different depths, he said. The deep stresses frequently release jolts. Shallow stress release slowly over time. They tend to creep. They don't break like in a huge earthquake. So events aren't without precedent. He points to the shallow 4.7 that left a crack in Australia but they are thought to be rare. And now France quakes has both moderate and shallow remains, and that op is, uh, it remains, it's an open question. Now they have to search for the break, looking for clues. They headed to uh, the field in November, on November 13, using satellite analysis to help pinpoint the crack uh, as it jutted across the roads. They found that, you know, as they did in Ridgecrest, you know, the cracks along the highways and the roads, they found this as well, cracks along the roads. And they were working to study the site in many ways, including uh, putting in more seismometers to track the faculty defaults activity and recording any more signs of deformation. Imperio and his team collected fresh rock they located near the faults and they wanted to test the properties in the lab to see if there's anything weird that could explain this unusual crack. Other scientists are now studying older satellites of the area to find out any past deformation that might offer more clues to this crack. So one intriguing possibility has come up uh, concerning this mysterious quake, and it could be due to a quarry activity nearby. This is what Robin Lacassine of Institut de Physique du Globe in Paris writes. He says a fault plane likely extends below the quarry, so the significant removal of rock from the quarry could have reduced the normal tectonic stress in the area, forcing the surface to readjust. Okay, so the quarry, they removed the rock, it was empty underneath, and the surface had to buckle, and it cracked. And this is the explanation that Imperia and his colleagues 
are investigating as a possibility. They haven't concluded that yet, but it could be one of the reasons. So the quarry mine, along with the, the fact that you have a fault running right under it, as you can see here, that uh, magnitude 4.8 dot, the red dot right there in Macy, France, it doesn't help that you had a fault line running right under the uh, quarry, and that caused the buckling and the cracking of that area of southern France. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.